On October 2nd, Colombians will be asked to answer a yes or no question. Do you support the final accord to end the conflict and construct a stable and lasting peace? Esta es una pregunta clara. It is clear and simple, said Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos. Not everyone agrees. The part to construct stable and lasting peace is biased, because it is insinuating that by voting yes, you are going to live in a supposed stable and lasting peace that is not ensuring transparency in an election. Former president and leader of the conservative Center Democratic Party, Álvaro Uribe Vélez, calls the question deceitful. In the month leading up to the vote, these politicians are preparing their campaign to encourage Colombians to vote no. Their opposition stems primarily on lenient sentences for rebels who confess to crimes. We are trying to educate citizens on the peace agreement through small and large avenues so that they can learn about the unacceptable points agreed on. A civilized society cannot reward barbarism. No, mire, yo creo que en eso... Constitutional lawyer Juan Carlos Henao argues the phrasing of the question is legal. He says the opposition was going to object the question however it was phrased. I would ask, where is the deception? Does anyone really believe that people don't know what they are voting for? All of Colombia has been aware of this vote for four years. There is no deceit. At the start of the peace process, President Juan Manuel Santos promised that any agreement would have to be approved by the Colombian people, but not necessarily by a big majority. For the accord to be ratified, the government says only 13 percent of registered voters would have to say yes. Michelle Biggis, CCTV, Colombia.